Um, ref announces this match, right? event is very controversial. Controversial. Excuse me, sorry. Shut up! Everyone's been saying that the match has been set for weeks. Me and the imposter. Yeah, the imposter. Platform, do whatever you want. But you know, there was supposed to be a third guy in that match. And that third guy's name was Viper. Jason Kaczynski. The 10th grader from Oceanside High School. You know, back in the OWF, this is a shoot right now. Back in the OWF, he was always good about showing up and being on time and being there when you need him. I don't know what has changed since then, but he is a completely different person now. Shut up! And you know, I was really relying on him to show up today to face me in my match with the imposter. But you know, Viper could not show up. I called his house, left messages on his machine. I emailed that son of a bitch and he... Shut up. I emailed him. I did everything I could to get in touch with him and get him here on time when we needed him. And he's not here, which means that if he wants to stay the Intercontinental Champion, he better show his fucking ass up before our match. Because if he doesn't, if he doesn't, I'm gonna go to the powers that be, the people that run the PBA, and not only get him stripped of the Intercontinental title, but get him stripped of his career. Fire his ass! Shut up! Viper's a piece of shit, and you should know it, you should know it, and you people should know it. But anyway, I still got a match tonight, and I got a fight. A fight of my life against the imposter, the masked one, the man that no one has ever seen without a mask on. And you know, he's a unique wrestler, because most wrestlers you get involved with, you can study them, you can look at the tapes, you can study their moves. Imposter, you can't do that. The only regular move that he uses in his matches is the choke slam. But he uses different moves just about every time he comes to the BBA ring and puts on a show. So tonight, it's kind of a big risk for me going into a match with a man that I hardly know anything about. All I know is he's been here longer than me, which doesn't mean that I respect him. He's been here pretty much since the beginning, and he's wrestled all the greats 
and he's been in all the great matches. But tonight, he's going to be in the greatest one of his life when he goes up against the true world champion, the only man to ever hold. Tonight, he's going to be in the most hardcore, extreme match he's ever been in. And tonight, I'm going to show you people, and especially the imposter, what it means to be a world champion. The only man to ever hold the BBA, OWF, and the EWA World Heavyweight title. No man has ever done that. You think that's just a coincidence? No, it's because I'm the best. I'm the most dominant wrestler there's ever been in Oceanside, in Rockville Center, in New York, wherever. I am today the BBA champion, and I'm going to go in to that match, the BBA champion, and I'm going to walk out the BBA champion. I am here with the old school icon, Real Deal Rob, and tonight he goes in to one of the most hellacious battles ever to be held in the BBA against the BBA television champion, Calypso. Your thoughts on the two I... Mirror, mirror on the wall! Today we find out who's the greatest of them all. Is it Real Deal Rob or is it Calypso? Today, two out of three falls, we're going to find out. It's not about the OWF versus the BBA. It's not about titles. It's personal. For four months, I've called myself the real world's champion. So for me, there's no back door. So Calypso, whether you like it or not, learn to love it because it's the best thing going today, and that's the deal, and it's for real. I cannot wait to see what happens in that match.